Welcome to our Principle of Accounts class. Today we'll be looking at the sales journal and the sales ledger. But we'll be focusing mainly on the sales journal in this first part of the lesson. I will use an example and I will explain the example step by step as I show you how to prepare the sales journal and the sales ledger. So let us go into the example. So example one, record the following credit sales into the sales journal for D. Latchman. Post the relevant accounts to the sales ledger and then show the transfer of the sales accounts in the general ledger. 1st of September, D. Sami, invoice number 111, bought $560 on credit. 8th of September, T. Cardos, invoice number 112 bought $1,640 on credit. 28th of September, C. Chin, invoice number 113, bought $220 on credit. 30th of September, D. Singh, invoice number 114, bought $1,100 on credit. So before we can prepare our, our know what, to prepare we must know or look and read and identify what is the question asking us to prepare the question is asking us to prepare the sales journal the sales ledger and post it in the general ledger and who is this account being prepared for it is being prepared for the latchman so when you read your question you need to identify these aspect of the question what a conquer they asking us prepare and who is it being prepared for now we're going to focus on the sales journal now the sales journal is used to record all sales that are made by the business on credit so this is not cash sales are recorded in the sales journal the sales journal or credit sale is a term used when goods or services switch ownership with the promise to make payments on a later date so this credit sales basically someone is buying goods but they're not paying and they're promising that they will make payment on a other day so that's basically what the sales journal the credit sale is sorry let us now discuss the format of creating the sales journal first we must place the account name at the top then we need to identify what type of account is being prepared and it's the sales journal and lastly we need to place the period for which we are preparing this journal for and we use the term or the phrase for month ending and we place the month and the year which this account is being prepared for and then there is the format that we need to draw up there is date detail invoice number and amount now in some cases they don't give you the invoice number so you you don't have to put in the invoice number if they do not give you an invoice number but when csec give you an invoice number you need to place in that invoice number to prepare the account now that we have established that the sales journal is used to record credit sales and credit sales is basically selling goods without any money being transferred to the company but it is being promised to be made on a later date and we have learned what the format is we need to identify who is this account being prepared for and so this account is being prepared for D. Latchman so we place our heading D. Latchman sales journal for month ending 30th of September 2020 next we need to draw up our formal a format for the sales journal which is date detail invoice number and the amount so let's read the first transaction there 1st of September D Sami invoice number 111 bought $560 on credit so in the date column we'll place a date there which is the 4th of September in the detail column we will place who are we selling this goods store who are we giving credit to 
and we are giving credit to the summing and then the invoice number replace the invoice number in the invoice column 111 the invoice number is basically used by company as a reference to invoices that they have sent out or received we don't have to add up the invoice number then replace the amount that is bought by the sami on credit which is 560 dollars in the amount section after we finish that we read the second transaction which is done on the 8th of september t cardos invoice number 112 bought $1,640 worth of goods on credit. Replace the date, which is the 8th of September in the date column. The detail is, again, is who are we giving credit to, which is T. Cardos. Replace the invoice number there in the invoice column, 112. And then we place in the amount column how much credit we give to T. Cardos, which is $1,640. $40. After we finish that transaction, we move on to the next transaction, which is done on the 28th of September to C. Chin, invoice number 113, and he bought $220 worth of goods on credit. In the date column, we place the date, the 28th of September. Detail C. Chin because we are giving credit to C. Chin. We place the invoice number there, 113, and the amount of credit that we give to C chain which is two hundred and twenty dollar. Then we move on to the not the next transaction which is done on the thirtieth of September to D Sing invoice number one one four bought eleven hundred dollar worth of goods on credit. After we have finished all of that, we need to add up the amounts column alone. We do not add up the invoice column because the invoice do not deal with a money transaction it's just a use as a reference so we have to add up $560 $1640 $220 $1100 and when we add it up we'll get $3520 and then we place in the detail column transfer to the sale account because this is transferred to the sales account the amount of sales that was done on credit i hope that this is bringing us to the end of today's lesson i hope that you all had some kind of understanding and learned something from this video please do your own research stay safe and i will see you in the next video